So today we are going to discuss uh, a new command which is called enlist command and what this command is used uh, it helps us in uh, using multiple uh, conditions right uh, or multiple values in a condition so uh, let's load our data so this time we are going to use the auto data that we normally use we have uh, the data related to different uh, cars and if I can just show you the data uh, this is the variable that we are mainly interested in we have the make of different cars right so this is a st string variable uh, a non-numeric variable and uh, we are going to uh, do some analysis by giving certain conditions right so if a car uh, if a make of the car is of uh, specific uh, firm or specific model right so uh, let's first see what the wrong ways and usually when you code um, and this is what you would uh, think of so let's say we want to summarize uh, these three variables price uh, mileage and weight right uh, so we want to summarize these three variables but we want to do that not for all the cars so there are 72 74 observations and we don't want to perform this analysis for all these 74 observations rather we want if the make of the car is uh, either equal to this value or this value or or, or any other value that we have given so if you remember from the logical operators you would know that this um, the sign stands for or so if the make of the car is equal to either this value this string value we have it in inverted commas because it is a, a string a text value or it is equal to this or it is equal to this value and so on and so forth now this is how usually when um, and this is the mistake I also usually do when I when I'm querying coding right uh, so when I uh, execute this command, you would quickly know that there is an error and the error is this is not how we should write it, but rather what we should do is the correct way and then there is a better way, but let's first understand the correct way. The correct way is we write the command, then the variable, then the if qualifier, then each time when we are going to pass this text value, we are going to tell it which variable to look into so if make is equal to either this text or make is equal to this text or make is equal to this text now the first thing if i have tens of values each time giving the variable name is uh, additional task right additional thing to type and if i make the if I have to change the variable name or if I made the mistake in the variable name, I have to change all these variable names, right? So there is a better way and this is where this enlist uh, uh, command or uh, the function rather I should say comes in. So this is the better way. So we can do this way, but, um, but this is the better way, right? So summarize then the variable name if so now instead of writing all this up each time giving the variable name i should type the function in list <clears throat> parenthesis open then write the name of the variable right comma and then all the text value that i want to search right so this uh, let me just show you the result of this one so we have uh, the result we have eight variable eight values uh, and the result of these two commands uh, would exactly match except this one is uh, more easier uh, to work with now it is not just uh, the text that you can use this command for you can also use this for uh, numeric data so let's say we have this repair variable and let me just show you the values in the rep78 variable. We have uh, one to five values and we want 
to summarize price weight and mileage if uh, the rep 78 variable is either 1 or 2 or 3. So we write the function in list within parenthesis first argument is the variable name and then the uh, the values. Remember we cannot give a range rather we have to explicitly type the values. Um, uh, in some other videos I would discuss the in range command uh, which might be helpful for this scenario or you can use the greater than or less than sign but within in list we, we would have to give values rather than a range. So let me also show you the uh, help uh, file of in list. So this is the simple syntax remember it is a function. Uh, z is the variable name and then we have values but the uh, the limitation of in list command is that if you have string then you can have either two or maximum of 10 values you can have 11 or 12 or more than that and if it is a uh, real number then you can have a maximum of 250 values 250 different uh, arguments that would go within this uh, within this function for 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 numerical values that seems more than enough but when it comes to text uh, 9 is uh, a quite small limit to work with so 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 let's say if i have more than uh, 9 in this case i have around 12 uh, values that I have given within the in list command. So if I execute this, it would give me an error that the expression uh, is too long. This is where I know that um, I have given too many arguments within the uh, within the in list command. But there is a way out, and the way out is that you lose uh, use the in list command twice. So uh, how do you do that? So first nine values would uh, go into the first inlist command that we we did already. So this is the first inlist command if inlist name of the variable and all the values. Then we use or sign. Then the second inlist the same variable right, but the remaining values. So if you can uh, compare these two uh, commands, you would see that uh, till here these values. Uh, have been given the first inlist command and uh, the the remaining values uh, I have given in the second inlist command. But remember, each time you you type the inlist command, you would the first argument should always be the variable name. <coughs> so this would work pretty fine. So we have eleven observations, right? Second is that all argument must be either real numbers or they all must be string. So it can be number or a string. That makes sense because a variable can either be a string and, or it can either be a numeric, right? So if we, within the list, in list command, if we were to use the numbers and the strings, it would uh, throw an error, but I am not sure why, why would we do that? If there are numbers, you can always, uh, you know, and the variable is string, then you can always use the, uh, the inverted commas. Uh, then uh, you can also use the not in list, uh, right? Um, so summarize price MPG mileage if uh, the values are not in the list, right? So we have 74 observations and I have given two observations summarized for all the values, all the remaining values except for these two. So that would be 72 observations, right? So uh, these limitations that I have just discussed with you, especially the limitation of the nine observations, uh, one thing that is also uh, that I do not like with the inlist command is that each type when you are working with the string variable, each time would, you'd have to you know uh, use the inverted commas, which is difficult to type, right? So this is uh, where the in list to command comes in. It is a, a user written command. So you'd have to use SSC install in list to. Now the, the good thing with 
in list two is that it do not require quotation marks. So these quotation marks are not required. Uh, there is no argument limitation, so you can do more than nine strings. But this in list two cannot be used as a function because it isn't a function. It is a command, user written command, right? So what you have to do is you'd have to use first the in list two command, right? And this would generate a dummy variable where it would either have a value of one or zero. The value of one would be given uh, to the values, to the rows, which meets the condition and zero where the condition isn't met. So let's use it. In list two, then we write the variable name, comma, the values option within the parentheses. We don't need to give inverted commas. We've given all these 11 different values or whatever number it is. And you would see that it would execute this command. Now just note this one, right? And let me show you the data view. You'd see that all these values, if I can show you this, uh, this opal make was within my, uh, within my command, but somehow there is a missing value. And I would discuss that why there is a missing value. But you would note that in list two command generated a dummy variable by the name of in list two. And it contains value of one where uh, the condition was met except for this opal. And the reason is somehow this, uh, this in list two command have this thing that it would not accept spaces within, within commas, right? And that is, uh, that makes sense because that way it knows that whether that space is within the text or uh, it is just a mis mistake, uh, right? Or rather you should consider it that this space would be considered as the part of the text. So obviously there is no, um, you know, open space in there if that makes sense. So if I was to run this command again, right, I don't need to delete in list two again. What it would do is it would automatically delete the in list two already created variable name and recreate the name. So now you would have noticed that uh, it is converted to one. You can also use uh, the name option. So if you give it uh, your own name, right? So that would also work. And then if you wanted to use it within a command, then what you do is write your command name, name of the variables, if in list two is equal to one. So it would only calculate the summary statistics for, uh, for, for, the, uh, for the rows where in list two is equal to one or whichever variable name that you gave it. So I hope that, uh, that was useful and the this this do file i would give the the download link for this do file in the description uh, do hit the like button uh, do subscribe to our channel and uh, also hit the bell icon thanks for watching